Tonight, secret recordings that could shed new light on when and why charges were dropped in an alleged sexual assault in Maryville, Missouri. The victim's mother sent the tapes to Garrett Hake. He's in the Sky Center now to explain why she's releasing them now. Garrett? Mark, every step of the way, this case has been murky and confusing, and the release of those tapes tonight is no exception. They raise new questions about the prosecutor's timeline of events. Fed up with what she called months of poor communication with the prosecutor handling her daughter's case, Melinda Coleman secretly recorded a meeting with the prosecutor, Robert Rice, in late May of last year. In a news conference Wednesday, Rice was adamant he had no choice but to dismiss the sexual assault charges against a 17-year-old Maryville football player when Melinda and her daughter refused to testify. But because the case files are sealed, he couldn't say when they told him that. And there's a boxer mentality in me that trusts me, I just want to do it, but I can't. And I hope you understand. But the recordings Coleman sent to 41 Action News today suggest the family only took advantage of their Fifth Amendment rights and stopped talking after the most serious charges were dropped in March. According to Coleman, this is Rice just before a deposition about the misdemeanor charge in late May. No, you haven't missed a deposition at all. The only deposition was this one, and that was where it was explained. The recordings also reveal a prosecutor clearly frustrated by his lack of access to his most critical witness, Daisy. Now, taken together, these recordings offer a tantalizing but incomplete look at a case that was unraveling. They clearly are designed to represent Coleman's point of view. No one from Rice's office would return our calls today, but at that press conference yesterday, he was adamant that when the case files are finally opened by a special prosecutor, they'll back up his point of view. We're live in Sky Center. Garrett Hake, 41 Action News.